So for the fleet, because I didn't put this in the video, the last dev server video, we've got the USS Summers DD-381 destroyer at 4.3 for America. You can see the guns there. Here's the modifications. Torpedo mode, ooh. And the USS Brooklyn light cruiser, which should be a Cleveland class, I'm pretty sure. And there's the upgrade modifications for that. So there's the new ships for America. Germany's new ships. You've got the type 1936A. I'm not exactly sure what mob. Mob stands for in this case. If it's mobility or if it's a German word, I don't actually know. But anyway, there are all the guns it has. This thing is going to be an anti aircraft. Me Marino. Modifications, there you go. Quite a lot of uh, anti air. And you can add better targeting for anti air. That's even better. And then the Nuremberg Cruiser at 5.7. And here's the modifications for that. Quite a lot of guns and uh, anti-aircraft capability in the Nuremberg as well. Gonna want to be careful air attacking Germany in this new patch. The USSR... Gets the Ognivoy, or Ognivoy, I'm not sure if how they would pronounce it actually, and the Kirov reporting. So the Ognivoy at 4.0. Here's your modifications. Nice. And the Kirov reporting its modifications as such. Pretty good guns there, too. Okay. Britain? Britain for the British Navy? You got the Leander Cruiser, and that seems to be it. The Leander from New Zealand. It's, to my knowledge, that'd be the first New Zealand anything in the game, unless there already was something Navy that I didn't see. I think that's the first New Zealand anything. I could be wrong. I think it, that's it. There's the modifications for it. Being New Zealand, I, just, I expect there to be like extra Hobbit crew down in the fourth tier, but I guess not. And Japan's Navy. Oh yeah, that's right. Japan's Navy doesn't exist in the game yet. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, let's take this thing for a quick test sale. Actually, I better spade it. Oh, that was good stuff. Okay. Summer's flank ahead. Oh my god. Torpedoes away. And apparently we hit an airplane. Yeah, look at that destroyer smoke screen. That's cool. Got some hits there. There we go, there's some hits. Decent enough hits. Alright, let's wait for those torpedoes. Yeah, that did some damage. Okay, what kind of steering response we got here? It doesn't seem too bad. And now to go full hard port after a full stern turn. Actually, that responds really well for a 
That rudder response isn't bad at all. That's really not bad. It's a destroyer. It's meant to be maneuverable, relatively speaking, for a ship so large. But, oh, I guess the torpedoes ran out. Okay. Not bad. See if those hit. Yep. Little, we're a little long. Let's see what kind of damage the regular these shells do. Oh, that's not bad. Aim a little more for the front of the ship. They look pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Oh, a little long. Bring him down a little bit. And let's see if we can get a nice waterline hit here. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, that's... There's some damage you can do right there. Anti... Anti-ship weapons, pretty good. We'll go back to the uh, variable timing, variable timing shells. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now nah, it looks pretty good. Start some fires with these shells. That's uh, some pretty good damage right there. I mean, we're shooting from three kilometers away, so it shouldn't be too much of a surprise. But yeah, that's pretty good. I bet we can do some damage against the light cruiser as well. Before we sail into this island. Now, as far as coming to a stop... <laughs> and then reversing, I got a feeling that's going to take a minute. I've done first 10s for ships before. They they did okay. I, I stopped doing them simply because I just had more tanks to do, really. My channel's mostly focused on tanks anymore, so... There, I figured... The attention that I was able to give ships, there were people who could do a better job than me. So I basically went for... Went back to focusing mostly, primarily on tanks. I do like airplanes and I do like ships, but... There's people that can give the ships the justice that they actually deserve. So I let them do it. Pretty good damage against a light cruiser here. I like the new shell splashes timer too, so you can tell if you're if you're just totally missing where your shells hit. That's nice. That's actually pretty cool. That's not too bad. I mean, I don't think you'd survive too long trading barrages like this with a light cruiser, but you certainly could probably do some damage and hold your own for a little bit. It's not like it's a suicide run, like as if you were trying to make a torpedo run with a PT boat against one, and you're just going to get killed by the secondaries before you ever get close enough, so it seems like it would work. It's a pretty high-tier destroyer I'm using, too, so, I mean, that's not... It's not crazy. Let's see what the smoke looks like if you're sailing backwards through it. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... That's what I expected it would look like. <laughs> you can't see me? I am the USS John Cena! Doot, 
do do do. That's pretty cool. Okay. I think that's uh, sufficient for the ship on fire. test drive there for the USS Summers. Go check out the not Cleveland. All right, let's check out the old speed here. That's that is definitely a Cleveland. This thing's going to be dead before the main guns can even aim at it. God. All right, light cruiser. Oh, look at that. That just sounds good. Oh, this is going to be good, guys. Oh, my God. And the secondaries are lighting up the destroyer. Oh, Lord. All right, we're shooting a little long. Bring it down a little. Are we overshooting? No, those should be good. Those look like they're on pretty well. Actually, we might be overleading. No, those look good. Yeah. Those are pretty good right there. Wow. I might have to start playing chips again, but oh my god, the grind to get up to... The grind to get up to where this destro or cruiser is. Ugh. Too bad you can't zoom in. Be nice to be able to zoom in and actually see your target there. Those AP rounds, oof, man, monstrous. Okay, there is a slightly different shell color on the uh, HE rounds, that's good. Dial the range down a little more. Oh, look at the sparks flying off the smokestack there, wow. Man, oh man. All right, let's turn our attention to the destroyer. This ought to be hilarious overkill. Oh my god. Speaking of overkill. Oh, say goodnight, you poor little destroyer. Actually, undershot a little. That might be brutal right there. Oh, man. Wow. Let's go back to flamethrowing rounds here. There went the cruiser. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh my god. Wow, that's just brutal. Jeez. Wow. That's vicious. That is one hell of a broadside. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I mean just wow. Yeah, you're not going to win a lot of points in the maneuverability category, but you're not supposed to either, so. My god, that is just nasty guns. Wow. It's going to be fun. Let's see what kind of range we've got. <laughs> Oh, 
pretty far, but I guess that uh, island is out there pretty good. Oh my god, can I... How high can I aim this thing? I guess 21.8 seems like the max range, which, I mean, that makes sense. That's that's pretty far. Look at how long the shell travel is at that elevation. <laughs> oh my god. There they are. Almost! I almost hit the shore! That was quite a, uh, quite a plunging fire barrage there. You can really get some plunging fire, but I don't know how you would aim it. Honestly. Like, aiming, aiming plunging fire at this, you can't see what you're shooting at, so... It would be next to impossible to walk those shells in unless you had a completely disabled target that you were able to just shoot, then come back, aim, recalculate, shoot again. But, that's pretty fun. Look at how far away those are hitting. <laughs> there they are. There were the shells coming down. Wow. That's something else right there. So Germany, we've got a 4.7 destroyer and a 5.7 cruiser. We'll take a look at them real quick. I can take the time to test drive these real quick and then I need to wrap it up for tonight after that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you poor SBD. Oh my god, you poor SBD. Let's see if those torpedoes actually hit. That one definitely looks like it's gonna hit. You jerks! <laughs> Yeah, that would have hit. Alright, let's see if our torpedoes can reach all the way out to those ships. Doesn't look like probably. Oh my god, would you guys stop? Um... Oh, what the heck is my button for? Think! Think that's... no. Nope. There, I think that's my button for stopping them from... Yeah, there we go. Okay, there. I got my secondaries to stop shooting. Oh my god! Holy cow, secondaries. Give it a rest. Alright, let's go with these high explosive, seemingly armor piercing shells. These might do some damage. Torpedoes still swimming? Uh, I can't tell. They should be. Wonder if these actually do any damage. Well, sort of. Shot a little high. We're going to uh, come about, see what the turn is like. Okay. 
And we'll try and get some actual... Actual hits on this guy. On this here light cruiser. A little better angle. We can shorten our shot down. Oh, overshot a little. Okay, we're closing on him. We'll have to keep dropping the guns down a little. Alright, we'll come in a little tighter and we'll make a barrage on the destroyer because I don't think the torpedoes have that kind of range. I'm guessing guessing my torpedoes even with torpe slow slow mode long range torpedoes probably probably don't have that kind of range I would suspect. But let's have a little fun first. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bleed him a bit. Oh, okay. May have led him a bit too much. A little closer than I'm used to firing. Let's try right about there. Oh, he turned. It's like he knew that was coming. Still overestimating a little, okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna aim more or less directly at him. It makes sense because we're both traveling the same direction. That might have done it. Wow, over. Overshot him. He's cutting in. He cut in towards us. Okay. Man! This is way more difficult than it looks like it should be. There we go. I don't know why the guns keep correcting forward. Those look like they should have had him. I guess the torpedoes had the range. That's a torpedo kill right there. They did, in fact, have the range. Wow, so torpedo mode is actually impressively good, and I guess I sank the cruiser by setting him on fire. Wow. Yeah, I think the torpedoes worked. All right, let's go back to embarrassing myself with my poor long-range gunnery here. So good to know the torpedoes have that kind of range. Holy hot tamales. You could really area deny with the torpedoes then. 
Crank up the distance a little bit. Yeah, he's coming in towards us again. A little too far on that one. All right, I'm only gonna try one more shot, then I'll quit and go get out, go do the cruiser. It's annoying me, I wanna kill this thing. Okay, let's see while those hit and then we'll go back to the, go back to the harbor. Oh! Oh my God, I gotta spade this thing out too. Ugh. Actually, yeah, let's put him on anti-air. Look at that anti-air capability. <laughs> oh my god. Well, stop that. Really? What do you mean torpedo tube in a dead zone? Why are you not... Oh, there we go. It finally launched. Okay. All right, that's that's random. All right, whatever. Okay, back to uh, let's light up this poor poor destroyer. Wow, look at that turn roll! <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Oh, those are going to hurt. Oh, man. You are going to just lay waste to destroyers with this thing. Oh, boy. That's going to hurt. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Yikes. Rip enemy destroyers that run into this thing with its guns ready. Oh, my God. That's just going to be brutal. Holy crap. I love the roll when you go into a high-speed turn, though. Holy cow, look at that. The decks are going to get a wash. <laughs> Captain, we're shipping water through the torpedo tubes. <laughs> Holy cow. That is great. Man, and then if you catch somebody in a turn, you can actually get a broadside barrage into them when they're at their low... Low under armored underbelly. Holy cow. Murder. All right, the destroyer's dead. Man, that high speed turn, though. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> Jeez, that's crazy.
Hopefully I didn't outrun my torpedoes here. Alright, we'll wait for the ship to roll back to level. We'll see if we can hit the PT boat with these guns. I'm not going to waste all your time with this, I promise. I'm only going to do this like two or three rounds and then we're done. Okay, right at him, I guess. There we go. Should still have a torpedo left. Huh. Was it trying to use a different torpedo tube, I wonder? Weird. Alright, we've got a pretty good smoke screen on this thing, too. Boy, that roll, though. Wow. That's something. I, I bet you could outrun your own torpedoes and kill yourself with them. When you have them in torpedo mode, I'm sure I could get ahead of those and sail in front of them and kill myself with them. I'm not going to, but I'm sure I could. Pretty good smoke screen, but I imagine that the smoke screens for the um, cruisers should last less than the destroyers, I would think, for balance purposes, anyway. See if the secondaries can. Yes, they can. Secondaries can indeed detect the cruiser at this distance. Alright, let's see what kind of stopping distance we've got. And we'll let those torpedoes keep tracking. Yeah, you're you're not gonna get you're not gonna get an air attack successfully in on the Nuremberg unless you are either part of a squadron of planes coming in on it or you launch an absolutely maximum range torpedo attack. Which might work, but even then I'm not sure you can get a max range torpedo attack in and actually hit this thing. I wonder if my torpedoes stop running or if they're just they're just out of sight. I think they're probably just out of sight. They should be able to run that far. The close range torpedo attack I made should have been able to hit the cruiser. Look at this thing heal over. My god. That's nuts. All right, we're going to see if we can right the ship with the guns. <laughs> Which currently won't fire. Can't get the guns to fire. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if it made an appreciable difference. Did my torpedoes actually stop running or did they miss? Maybe they missed. 
Huh. I'll have to go look at the range on the torpedoes, I guess. So this is silly, but... Oh, nope. They hit him. There we go. Okay, they did hit. I was about to say this is silly, but I'm going to do a point-blank attack on the uh, cruiser with the guns here. But I still will, because it's... Why not? Ouch. Okay. Yeah, you're going to want to be able to identify ships if you're going to fly airplanes in high-tier naval battles now, because that's not something you want to get too close to. I mean, look at the AAA there. So USSR. We got the Agnivoy and the Kirov. We'll take them in as well. Just like that other world of warships game. That other game of warships that goes across the whole world as the Agnivoy and the Kirov. Okay. I, okay. I gotta say, whoops, that right there is hilarious. The star inside the uh, antenna wires, that's genius. So, somebody somewhere in the Soviet Union in the 1940s or 50s suggested that, and they probably didn't get rewarded well enough. I mean, we do have anti-air capability, right, guys? There we go. There we go. Well done, me boyos. And let's get started. Anybody ever heard the term overkill? Sylvan, thank you for the follow, and Thargal, you're welcome, and have a good night, man. All right, let's uh, get a little barrage on the destroyer here, and we'll do the same with the cruiser. This thing can move pretty well. Oh, we actually missed. Missed there, too. No, not you. Get out of here. Get out of here, you! Pfft. Here. Secondaries deal with him. <laughs> okay. Back to what I was actually trying to do. I don't... That must be a secondary turret? I don't recall telling you to fire. That was weird. I definitely was not telling that aft turret to fire. The aft turret seemed to be functioning as a uh, secondary. That's strange. There we go. Okay, there's a hit on him. Yeah, there we go. There's some good hits. Get a good hit with the light cruiser. We'll switch over to the HE shells and do a barrage with those.
and we'll hit the destroyer with them as well, and then we'll go back in between and watch for the torpedoes. Yep. Speed doesn't seem quite as good. Okay, there we go. We just, we were turning a little bit. Yeah, speed's good. Speed is about the same as every other destroyer, so that's fine. Smoke should be the same as every other destroyer too, probably. Let's see what kind of turn we got. That star in the wires, though, that's just... That is so funny. I love it. That's genius. That's really good stuff. So we're sailing more or less directly at him, so we shouldn't have to deflect the guns at all. Yeah, say we should be able to just shoot. Alright, let's see if we can find our torpedoes. Okay, straight line speed run, go. Look at those smokestacks, though. Let's see how long the smoke actually lasts for while we're speeding forward here. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, that sounded like a torpedo hit. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that was a torpedo hit right there. See if we can catch my torpedoes on their way to the light cruiser. Anyway, yeah, there's the smoke. It's a pretty decent distance on the smoke, I think. Alright, just waiting for the torpedoes to hit now. That's pretty good flank ahead speed right there. Pretty good indeed. My torpedoes should have the distance to hit that cruiser. They're just going to take a minute to get there. But they should... Should be capable of reaching that... Reaching that distance even from the start point. That was a torpedo hit, and that was a torpedo hit. Yep, there we go, the torpedoes reached. Man. That's a big hit. Big hit from those babies. Let's see how hard this thing heals over. Doesn't seem too bad. Now this actually isn't bad at all. Not like the Nuremberg. The Nuremberg is hilarious. Bleeds off a bit of its speed in the turn, though. That's kind of impressive, actually. Yeah, it looks like the end of the smoke screen there, so... You can block a channel inlet pretty well with smoke, or give a cruiser some cover. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Let's go check out the Kirov. 
Arg. Uh, that's some research cost for this thing. Ten thousand for the first first year. Ooh. A lot. Look at those guns. Look at those guns. If only there was a way to launch the uh If only there was a way to launch the airplane, that would be hilarious. Hey, whoa, easy there, torpedoes. What are you doing? Let him have it, boys. Come on, I know we have anti-air capability. Let's have it. Come on, fellas, track him. There we go. In the meantime, we'll get this thing sailing. Oh, he's in trouble now. You're in trouble now, JU-88. Okay, get ready for horrible war crimes. Oh my god! Woo! Oh my god. Jeez. That's a pretty good hit, too. Reload doesn't seem too terribly bad for such large guns, either. 180 millimeter guns, that's not too bad. And let's do a little maneuverability check. That's a pretty good hit right there. Maneuverability is not horrible, but you can tell it's a larger ship. It's taking a minute. Not healing over quite as bad as the Nuremberg. Not too bad. Maneuverability is okay. I'm not sure you can torpedo dodge with it, but probably could. I think we scared him. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Huh. Okay. Oh, he looks like he's taking on a bit of water. Are these time shells? Is that what's going on here? Look like they're exploding short. Yeah, that seems to be what's going on. Huh. Look at how badly that thing is flooding. Oh, man.
There we go. Torpedoes reached the destroyer. Gonna be too long now, they'll be reaching the cruiser. Let's see if we can outrun these torpedoes, that'd be funny. Be a little tough because we're not starting at full flank speed, but there we go. Okay. I think this is the last ship to test sail. Oh no, Britain. The Leander, that's right. I'll give the uh Royal New Zealander. Leander. Bit of a test sail, right? Yeah, we can outrun our torpedoes. <laughs> oh my god, can I? I mean, realistically speaking, I should be able to detonate the torpedoes or knock them severely off course and out of kilter, but I don't know that you can actually do it in-game. I'm gonna go with no, but that's pretty funny. How hilarious would it be to like save somebody from a torpedo attack by doing this? I'm guessing no, you cannot do so, but how funny would that be? Alright, smoke away. Oh, the smoke comes off the fantail, look at that. That's cool. Like, it's not being generated from behind, like, through the engine exhaust. It's actually coming off the fantail. That's cool. Neat. I think we've got some torpedo hits happening. She's shipping some water, Captain. I don't think she can take much more of this. No, that is not a Scottish accent. That was an I'm not sure what accent, actually. Some of those went some of those went clean over it. Okay, so the Kirov. My goodness. The only thing it's missing is a star in all of its communications wires. That's one thing the Agnavoy has over this. Yeah, look at that. The smoke comes from like way forward up the up the deck it's almost enough to interfere with the aft turret that's kind of neat all right well there you have the kirov 5.7 russian cruiser pretty pretty nasty looking boat i think And that should have been it. We'll go take a peek at the Leander. One more. One more ship to test sail. I didn't get to them. I didn't get to test sail the ships in the first dev stream, so. We'll take care of this. Rocky, ain't she a beauty? All right, let him have it, mates. <laughs> you picked the wrong airspace to fly in, Sheila. Okay, what kind of speed do we got here? Well, the acceleration's not quite there. Oh, look at the JU-88 right there. Oh, you poor thing. 
You poor lucky thing. I think that one's got it, though. Yeah. Bye bye Okay, destroyer. Bring the guns to bear. We'll go with the AP shells first, and then the uh, HE. Uh, a little bit of damage there. Not too bad, not too bad at all. What's the HE look like? HE's some pretty good hits. Those gun echoes are pretty cool. Enemy is on fire. Let's see what the AP looks like against the enemy cruiser. Pretty good hits. All right, smoke's probably going to be about standard with everyone else here. But we'll bring it around anyway. Turning feels more sluggish on this ship than the Kirov did, which is strange. Because the Kirov is a lot bigger. But this is a much older ship with much older technology, so... Eh, it's not too bad. It did slow down a bit more than the Kirov in the turn, so... That's something. We're gonna come about for a torpedo run off the port side torpedo tubes here. See if we can get all four of them to fire at once. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna record and upload this later. Maybe I will. I might more likely just replay this stream along with the first dev stream I did. That's a lot of... I've been streaming for like, what? Three hours, I think? More than three hours? And I streamed for three hours the other night, too, and that took a long time to get through all that footage. So I'm not sure. There we go. That's probably not going to hit, because I didn't ca compensate for travel. Yep. Also, distance was a bit long. That should be better. Might have overshot. Nope, not too bad. All right. We'll do one more turn test here, another smoke screen, just to see the duration, and then we'll uh, wrap up the dev server for tonight, I think. I uh, need to go get some dinner and actually see my family today, since they're all home. And I've been streaming since I woke up four hours ago or three hours ago, whatever the heck time it is. At some point, I might, might cut up all the ship test drives and make them into a YouTube video. Or maybe individual YouTube videos, but probably more uh, in all the ship test drives. I'm guessing those were the torpedo hits? Maybe not. He's definitely taking on some water. See 
if we can shell the beach here in preparation for landings. While we wait for those torpedoes to hit, which I mean, we already know they're going to kill them, so it's not like this is exciting or anything, but it's just fun watching, watching those torpedo hits happen. Oh, there's a torpedo track right there. You can actually see it in the water. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There it is right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a torpedo track in the water right there, still heading in. I think we have successful shore bombardment going on. Okay, let's see if the torpedoes finish this guy off. Or if he sinks before the torpedoes hit. I don't know if the torpedo hit him. I didn't see a splash. I don't think that was a torpedo. I think he just capsized from flooding. From shell penetrations. Huh. How about that? There he goes. I don't think that my torpedoes actually got him. It's kind of a shame. Huh. Well, there you have it. Our Majesty's, or His Majesty's, New Zealand ship, Leander. Shore bombardment away. On that far island, apparently. Those were more the distance I was aiming. Okay. Wow, those smoke screens really hang for a while. <laughs> 